Okay, we're being joined with City Council candidate Josh Brosius. Thanks for coming, and we'll get right into it. The first question we have is, what do you think of uh, the state of Sunbury right now in 2019? Currently, we're, on the, we're going in the right direction. I mean, we have city council members in there. We have people involved in the community trying to involve everyone in the community, trying to build a community, trying to grow it. Now, we're, are we where we need to be? No, but that's why I want to run. I want to run so we can build a community for everyone involved, young people, old people, middle-aged people, because if you walk downtown, there's not a lot there for everybody. So that's why, that's where I see it right now. I want to change that so we can continue to grow as a community so people can take pride in Sunbury. Say, I'm from Sunbury. You should move here. There's lots of things to do. Now, how we do that, we need to help everybody out. We need to get involved with each other. And we need to help each other, whether it's my idea, your idea, whoever's idea it may be, we gotta work together as a community because we're all here for one thing, that's to grow Sunbury as a community and then for a city for everyone to be proud of. Second question we have is uh, obviously with uh, everything going on, there was uh, police officers have come and gone, whether it be reti retirement or whatever the case may be, but we're down to six officers. What do you see happening with that? And do you think the city needs uh, a lot more officers? Well, yes, the city needs a lot more officers, not just to protect the citizens, but also to protect the officers on duty. To have one or two officers out there in a city of this size is not safe for them. It's not safe for the city. It's not even safe for other cities and officers coming to help somebody. So we need to get more officers into this town, give them incentive, give them promotions, wherever it may be, to help them attract officers to be here. Now, the officers we have now, they're doing a great job. They know the state of the city. They know what they can do, what they can't do. And everybody who ever sees a police officer out there should go out there and shake their hand because what they're doing is above and beyond what they ever would have to do. And I'd like to thank them for their services that they're doing for their community and their families and everyone involved in this city. With that being said, uh, the Sunbury Police Department, obviously you've seen that it's been a mess over there and uh, they're, they're trying to get out of that building and looking for uh, different buildings. What's your thoughts on that, on getting a new building or trying to revamp that the old bank building? Well, before, in my opinion, before we start doing anything about a building, I think we need to get our financial situations under wraps in the city before we go out and start talking about spending more money on a new building. We have to look for other means how we can get by. I just don't want to get by for maybe a little bit, but we have to look for long term. We don't want to put the city and the taxpayers into more financial burden where taxes need to raise. I'm a property owner. I own properties. I don't want my taxes to go up. I don't want the taxes to go up for the citizens of Sunbury. So we need to first get our financial situation under control before we start spending money we don't have yet. So I do want to get a new location, hopefully the per hopefully to get everyone under the up to date and um, up excuse me up to date technology all the state of the art stuff but we need to first have the funds to do it so we do not raise taxes on the citizens the fourth question that we have is the sunbury downtown obviously you see that businesses come and go and there's about 30 empty storefronts right now what are your thoughts on uh, making that a priority to revitalize the downtown oh, that's that's priority number 1 because you get businesses downtown, that's bringing revenue to downtown, that's bringing new people to downtown, that's bringing job opportunities to the city, that's bringing more income to this town. That's the first thing we need to do. We need to work together with the councilmen, the county commissioners, the state representative, the state, whoever we need to work together with to get that downtown revitalized. And we also, as property owners of those buildings, we gotta start taking a little pride there. We can't have garbage, we can't have ceilings falling and we can't have debris outside of our buildings. So that is priority number one because I believe if we get downtown revitalized, we will have a chance to get this city on the right track to grow it for everyone here. And the last question that we have is, what makes you the best candidate for city council? I believe that's one, that's one answer here. I'm here for the people. I'm here for the taxpayer. I want to make Sunbury the best it can be. I want it to be better than every other community city in the area. Because if you look back at pictures from years ago, Sunbury was the place to be. You talk to anybody, Sunbury is the place to be. And that's what I want to do. I want to make Sunbury the place to be for everyone by working with everyone, by working with all county, uh, excuse me, all county commissioners, all state representatives, all councilmen, with the mayor, the community. I want to make Sunbury what it used to be. I want to make it better. I want to make it the focal point of the Susquehanna Valley. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.